If you have not seen this yet, please sit down. I'm Keith Olderman, and this is The Resistance. Case closed. We have all been right all this time. The Trump gang is guilty. An intelligent 10-year-old could tell you the essence of the conspiracy case against Donald Trump, his presidential campaign, his presidential administration, and the government of Russia has, for all intents and purposes, been proven. It is case closed. Impeach, convict, and arrest Donald John Trump today. The original point here, and it is kind of important, it is in fact weapons grade important. You know, the possible end of the world. It is what we have colloquially called collusion with Russia. It is a conspiracy. The greatest crisis of our lives, this conspiracy with Russia. Moreover, the Trump-Russia dance of deceit, the Russian conspiracy, Russian conspiracy, Russian conspiracy, conspiracy with Russia. It is the greatest crisis of all of our lives right now. A conspiracy with Russia. He reeks of cover-up. Trump's connection to Russia is plausible. The Russian ambassador, Kremlin and Vladimir Putin, Russians, and tried to get Trump to meet with Putin directly. The Russian government, compromised by the Russians and unwitting agents of the Russians, the Russian government. Trump Tower Moscow with Vladimir Putin's public endorsement of Trump. Kremlin, Russia active Russian agent, Russian ambassador to the United States, Vladimir goddamned Putin, a Russian, Russian, Russians, Russia, the Kofefe tweet, Russian, Russia, the Russian, Russian scum, Russians, the Russians, Russia, Russians, Russian, 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 goddamned golf courses, Russian, the Russians, the Russian, Russian, the Russians, a fake news witch hunt, Russians, the Russian government, Trump and Russia, the Trump Russia cover up. Who needs Russian smoke? when the White House is on fire. Russia. Kremlin money. Russia. Russians. Russian mole. Russian national. Russian interests to Russian intelligence. Russian firm. Russian plant. Russian government. Russian ambassador to the United States confirmed to his masters in the Kremlin to serve Russia. Russian officials. Russia scandals. Russian diplomat. Russian spy. Russians in the Oval Office. Trump fired Comey to cover up this conspiracy with Russia. Obstruction of justice and witness intimidation. All of them got conspiracy stains all over them. We were promised hard evidence of systemic, sustained, furtive collusion. Oops. Permitting Donald Trump to assume the office of president reduces the chance that we will have any future elections. So it's all good fun and alarming and an exciting, scary, gosh, I used to really enjoy the Sopranos kind of way. But wait, there's more. It's actually worse even than that. Google this yourself. There's, there's nothing. No evidence Trump has ever loved an animal. This is not blowing over. This has not stopped expanding. This is not something for which we cannot use the big words. You do not accept that which is not true. This is about whether or not the man elected president is loyal to the United States of America or whether he is instead loyal to the Russian Federation. Trump and Manafort and Stone and Cohen and Kushner and Flynn and Sessions and Gordon and Page and Trump Jr. all interacted with the Russians in some nefarious way, great or small, during the campaign and after it. Treason, 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 and treason. Case closed. So Trump's not guilty of joining with an enemy foreign government to fix the presidential election, or oh well, maybe he is. But so what? There ain't no law against that. What happens next? Never address Trump as president. He is Trump. Just Trump. He is not a president. He is a puppet put in power by Vladimir Putin. He is an illegitimate president. His name will someday appear with an asterisk or it will be wiped from our history altogether. And most importantly, Trump is still, at best, the local distributor for Russian dictator Vladimir Putin. He's crazy. He doesn't understand any of this. Trump is indeed effing crazy. His brain does not work correctly. He's effing crazy. It is madness and it will destroy him. Surviving a nightmare he has created for himself in his madness and his lust for power. He is still a moving, breathing conflict of interest who will likely be guilty of impeachable high crimes and misdemeanors within hours, if not minutes, of his own inauguration. Find a Trump supporter every day 
and remind them he lost the popular vote. It's time for Donald Trump to resign as president. He just has to resign. I don't want a President Pence, but I will take him. And we can discuss that some other time. He must go because he is here only after the interference of an enemy nation in our election. Oh, Donald, this is bad. The case is closed now. That's the end of that subject. Mic drop. The end. This conspiracy with Russia. Trump is lying. They just did this for money. It sure looks like a cover-up that so many of us have suspected for so long. He cannot leave Russia alone. He cannot leave it alone. It will destroy him. It is destroying him. The Russia story continues to grow grimmer and bigger and deadlier like a funnel cloud moving like a living thing out at the horizon.